Just where the Republican National Convention will be this year is still up in the air. President Trump and members of the GOP want a full convention in Charlotte, while Governor Cooper says he can't guarantee that due to COVID-19. Tonight, we hear from a local delegate in terms of what they'd like to see. exciting and it's a high honor uh, a great honor and a great privilege to be elected as a delegate and to to attend and to serve representing your district your state uh, on the behalf of your party. Zan Bunn was a 2016 Republican National Convention delegate in Cleveland and will also be for the 2020 convention as well. The chair of the 2nd Congressional District says she'll be disappointed if the convention can't be held in Charlotte, but stands by President Trump's stance to move it elsewhere. If, if we cannot have a full convention and to uh, conduct the festivities and the business as it was intended and as the president desires, then I, I know that a lot of delegates join me in thinking it would be better for us to be in a place where we can. Bunn says recent protests across the state only prove her point. If individuals and large crowds are allowed to protest, we should be able to convention. And I, I think that all of my delegates would join me, fellow delegates would join me in agreeing on that. She also believes the convention should be held as the party sees fit and says there are several states to the south of us that are prepared to allow an unadulterated event. North Carolina was very eager to welcome the world to Charlotte, just as Cleveland did in 2016. It will be a, a big disappointment if we are not able to be in Charlotte but I do not believe that any delegate is willing to be held hostage by Roy Cooper any longer. And Governor Cooper did address this very issue within the last 30 minutes. Here's what he had to say. So we want the convention here. We think it's good for North Carolina. We're not going to guarantee something that we know could hurt the health and the safety of North Carolinians. And you know, look forward to any continued discussions that they want to have. So Governor Cooper making it clear that he is not done with discussions as long as the other parties are willing to have them. Angela, it seems this changes every single day. Of course, we will continue to cover it online and on air.